What's up, guys? It's Juanita Wrestling, y'all. <laughs> so this is my first like attempt to trying to do like a vlog thing. So I really don't know how this is gonna go or or whichever, but um, I'm gonna try my best to put something together. Um, so I just got here to Miami, and um, yeah, I ended up driving down here, uh, which that was like not uh, not fun but i also have seen that there's like a lot of fellow ragers that are coming from out of state that are potentially dealing with um weather you know um as being a factor and so um you know so i really hope to all of the ragers out there that they are able to get here safely and um i guess for me i guess i'm actually just grateful and thankful that i actually had the you know um ability to to drive down here so um so yeah like here we are i don't know if you guys can see my view but yeah um i've actually stayed at this hotel um every single time that i've gone to a jericho cruise i love the location it's a cute little spot and um like i said for me it's my, can't you know i have not had any issues to date or anything like that so um this is me but now i'm gonna go ahead and get my amy style ready because i'm gonna enjoy a night here in magic city y'all um and i will touch base with you guys a little bit later um but i'm very excited oh my gosh it just seems like it's been forever that it's taken to get here to you know the jericho cruise and you know we're just one day away now so there's a bunch of my friends that are out here that i'm gonna try to connect with and again just enjoy miami for you know the night before the real party begins so i'll catch you guys later bye oh and remember guys wrestling is life Look at this. Look at this. This is this is what I'm in for, guys. No, I can't. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Um, so I was going to do like this big old post and update about how long it was going to take for me to actually get on the boat because the last time it was like a complete disaster because of all of the COVID testing and everything like that. But like this morning, like I was able to get right in, like right through like the security checkpoint, all of that. And now I'm like literally just hanging out here waiting for my section to be called so that way I can get on the boat. Like this is crazy. Like what a completely different experience this time compared to last time and I could not be happier because I was like literally like stressing out about like oh my gosh about how long we were going to be waiting and all of that so shout out to Norwegian and everyone else involved for making this process a thousand times better um so I will pop up again um, once I get on the boat and stuff um and just kind of give you guys a little overview and stuff like that and and go from there. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. <laughs> all day or what's up? No, I'm just like a uh, people and like just the situation of what we got. The pulses. There, <laughs> my sweet rap. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> I got Ronnie, Alex, my boys. No, no, <laughs> no, guys, no. <laughs> Chuck, call BB. Chuck calls group two. That's what I heard. Virgin.
Let's give it up for each other. We made it on this boat, y'all. Yeah! If you have your shot, you can hold on to it because we're going to do a couple toasts, but we definitely want to get a family photo while we're out. Are you sure? Yeah! Let me hear you say yay! Yeah! All right, sounds good. Here we go. Let's keep it going, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hi! <laughs> How's it going? So, good morning, first and foremost. Um, so, the first night was 
an absolute blast, um, as you guys can probably tell by the sound of my voice. Um, and so right now it is going to be a big day because today are the meet and greets and also um, there's autograph sessions that are taking place as well. Um, so I'm going to be getting into several of those things today. Um, but first, I need some fuel because, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's been super awesome so far. And again, it was only the first day. So I'm really excited um, for today. Um, it's a full day at sea today before we go and uh, get to the island tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and have me a cup of joe so I can wake up um, and I will touch base with you guys later. Um, I do want to go ahead and try to see if I can somehow share this nice little view with you all. Um, again, open water. It's so calm and peaceful. Um, let me see. Flip, flip? Probably not, but let me just... Yeah. It's lovely. So, I'll catch you guys later, okay? Bye! Hey y'all, what's up? So, I am uh, checking in with you all. Um, I Today is the day for the... Um, well, the first day for the meet and greets and autograph sessions, I um, I chose to not do any of the autograph sessions because um, for me, I think I was more so kind of like um, afraid that if I tried to bring like figs with me, um, if, you know, they'd get damaged, um, you know, through the check-in process. So I just... Um, decided to not do that um but um i will say that with the jericho cruise there is that opportunity to do so and there isn't any additional extra charge and you know the meet and greets um that they have um along with the autograph sessions they're actually included um you know already with what you pay so there's nothing additional that you have to pay so um i know for me the first cruise that i ever did you know i was kind of like trying to prepare myself to be like okay like i definitely want to meet this person let me make sure i have enough money here for this and that um but from the very first cruise um you know there isn't any and there still hasn't been any charges you know like i said to do meet and greets so that is super awesome the one thing i will say to you all is that as you guys can imagine i'm you know just like with any normal um you know um fan fest or you know at a wrestling event where they have meet and greets there's only so many um you know people that you know can can do the meet and greet or participate in it i know there's like a time constraint and there's only so many meet and greets that can be done so i would seriously highly and i mean highly recommend um that you guys get there early and i mean you know uh, at least half an hour early um so that way you guys have the opportunity to try to meet who it is that you really want to uh so i will say um I, I I think you all can guess who was one of my picks or who was one of my choices for um, the meet and greet. Uh, obviously, it was the acclaimed. Um, and I know I've had people tell me, they're like, what do you, why do you want to meet them? You've already met them. But um, for me, you guys, um, this was truly a, um, like a full circle moment for me because I, I did get to meet them finally last year, um, but I wanted to at least have one more um, meet and greet with them and meet them as the AEW um, World Tag Team Champions. And I got to do that thanks to the Jericho Cruise. So I am forever grateful um, for that. Um, so, but yeah, but they had, you know, different, um, you know, wrestlers out there doing the meet and greets. Um, but again, there was just so many people that want to go ahead and, you know, participate in that. Um, so, like I said, I recommend that you guys, um, you know, get there early and, um, like I said, um, try your best to, um, you know, just prepare yourself to make a choice. And I hate to be the one to kind of like whatever, but I have to be honest with you guys, because again, there's just so many of us that want to meet so many different um, talent, you know, and there's only so much time. 
Um, so I would say that if and when you guys do participate that, I would just kind of just try to plan accordingly um, to have your first meet and greet be the absolute your number one like the the one that you know this is the reason or, or whichever um and then after that if there is time and you have the opportunity to get back in line to go ahead and meet some of the other people you know that's great and awesome um so but just like i said just i'm planning for that but um um, the meet and greets, um, they're good. You have the opportunity to go ahead and get your photo with them. But for the meet and greets, there's no autographs um, at all. Um, they have a separate time um, and a designated um, section for, you know, autograph sessions. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, try to freshen up and rest up a little bit because it's just day two. <laughs> and uh, yeah there's a lot going on <laughs> so i will um try to touch base with you guys later um i have to say it's been seriously like the best time i've had so much fun so far um just with so many people that i've gotten to like reconnect with you know again for me it's it feels like it's been this big family reunion which has been amazing and um i love it i love it and even some of the like new ragers that i've gotten to meet again it's been uh an amazing experience so far um and this is only day two so we still have a couple more days left so um i've gotten you know um some like nice little footage here and in, in there so i'll be sure that i get that i share that with you guys and stuff so um but yeah catch you guys later all right. Just a sexy oh, ass. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't encourage him. I love it. 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 I Everybody else right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Woo! Come on! Hey! <laughs> 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 Once again, this next joke may also get me killed. Wardlow is on the boat. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. I think his matches are like kind of how he has sex, like two moves and he's done in under a minute. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. He is. No, no, you can't power bomb a dwarf, Wardlow. That's a hate crime. Okay, you can't do that. Can't do that. Gotta respect your minorities. 
And like Swoggle, he hates them. I know it's been a long day, but this fucking ship is moving. It'll move it yeah. for you. Just fucking give us something all night. Let's have some fun, okay? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah, Hey, y'all. How's it going? So, um, it's been quite the day. Um, and I had way too much fun today. Um, so yeah, I'm actually back here in my room um, to call it a night, um, an early night, at least for me. Um, today was so much fun, you guys. Um, and if you guys can see like here on the screen, um, they, all, they have uh, photos that they post uh, throughout the duration of the trip, just showing you know shots and stuff like that of getting people you know sometimes of the matches just sometimes of people i have to tell you guys today was super fun and um i absolutely loved it um so today was the um well at least for me because there's actually designated days um and times for autograph and um, meet and greet sessions so I think I touched on it earlier that um, the main meet and greet I wanted today was the acclaimed. And um, I was very, very fortunate enough to go ahead and get that. Um, so that literally made my trip. I was so, so happy about that. Um, and I also was able to get my um, photo with other, with the other you know, four time ragers with Chris Jericho. Um, so that was really nice. Um, I have to tell you guys, I am enjoying this whole experience. You know, I mean, again, um, yes, I've, I've done it before, but to me, each time is different and, um, and it's special in its own way. And I have to tell you guys, like, I have absolutely just loved, um, the people that I've gotten an opportunity to meet and, you know, the folks and stuff like that, that I've connected with online, um, you know, and just have finally gotten the opportunity to, to meet in person. That to me has been like the best and everybody's so freaking awesome. And I love the fact that we all share this same passion and this same love for wrestling. Um, I, I know I said it to you know, a couple of people that to me, like wrestling friends are the best kind of friends. Um, because for me, you know, wrestling friends are lifetime friends for me because again, I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, I've established this guys. I love wrestling. Wrestling is life. I've, I've said this, I don't know how many times. And so for me, if I'm able to make a friend through wrestling, man it just makes it that much sweeter for me um i absolutely love it and people have been <laughs> so freaking awesome and it's been crazy but in the best possible way you guys and i have to tell you um you know you know this time around though i will say i mean there was definitely you know it was definitely true to the name card subject to change so you know we were actually supposed to be scheduled to go ahead and dock tomorrow on like i guess on this new island that norwegian has or something like that but apparently there's some really bad weather that's like 
going or going to be in that direction. And can you guys believe we're actually not stopping? We're not going to that island at all now? It's crazy. Like, I honestly could not believe it when they dropped the news. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I just got out of the shower and stuff like that. I had to clean up. So my bad that I'm all like, whatever. Um, but anywho, so so yeah, like they made the announcement saying that unfortunately they weren't going to, you know, be able to dock. And man, you know, I was really bummed out about that. Not, not so much for me, but for like the people that were like really looking forward to it. Um, I have a couple of friends that um, are actually on the cruise for the first time and they were really looking forward to that, you know? Um, so I'm really, really bummed out, you know? Um, but the thing is, you know, it was obviously not in anyone's control. It was mother nature that was not gonna let that happen. Um, so that's a bummer. But the thing is, it's that they already had worked on um, putting together something you know for everyone to do tomorrow and everything like that just to keep us entertained so I really love how they you know have worked very quickly to try to come up with something you know to do throughout the day because tomorrow was when you know mostly everyone was going to get off of the ship so um, as far as like in the morning through the afternoon there wasn't anything really scheduled because again most of the people you know get off of the ship so there's not really you know too much entertainment and things going on and stuff while they're docked and you know obviously because you know people are are getting off so you know they don't want to make it so people are missing things so um so yeah so i mean so that was a very you know very big surprise so i mean i'm really bummed out but um like i said hey you know um it is what it is you know um these type of things happen so um like i said they're just going to keep going with it and see you know what they can do for us so i'm i'm very excited about that and um you know i'll have to let you guys know what ends up you know panning out with that um but i did um as far as for tonight i have to tell you guys so um i actually ended up going to my first like actual sit down dining um you know uh experience on the cruise because typically i would just do the buffets and that's it you know um i never really gave it thought but um a you know friend of mine actually um uh, invited me to go to this um nice restaurant you know hibachi style and stuff and i have to tell you guys it was so much fun because we ended up bumping into you know um two friends that I met that I actually um while we were you know getting on the ship that I met and oh my gosh it was so much fun it was it was a blast let me just say that um so I I ended up doing that um the food was amazing you guys look and I have to say even though it's like buffet style um the buffet food that they have it's pretty darn good um so let me just say you know the food on the ship it's really good and if you got if you guys want to get fancy they have nice formal um you know restaurants and stuff like that you know if you want to go do that so there is that as well um so after that um we went to go catch um the comedy show and um you know brad williams was toasting it he gave us some jokes here and there but there was multiple comedians that went up and um did their stand up and oh my gosh it was a good variety and all of it was really funny and the best part is is that they have comedy shows each night but you're getting something different every single night you're not getting the same um material over which is really nice um so we did that and um we finished up well you know i um and my friend finished up the night going to um the karaoke uh, karaoke night um pat patterson's karaoke night uh memorial karaoke night um because uh, you know he's obviously since passed away but you know he was actually on the first cruise ever and i just remember him you know being a part of the karaoke and hosting it and just remember how much fun i saw in him you know enjoying that so um so now they have this carry uh pat patterson memorial karaoke they do and so you know i'm not going to give any spoil or you know name any names but i just want to thank the person who gave me the heads up because guess who 
hosted karaoke, you guys. I'll give you guys one guess. Yes, yes. The acclaimed. I totally marked out, you guys. I totally marked out. Um, so I don't know how, how many of you guys are like following me and stuff like that, but I had um, just recently started doing like karaoke and everything like that, like really getting into it. And so for me to see them hosting karaoke and actually getting up there, like to do some songs and everything like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was the icing on my cake. It was an absolute blast. Let me just tell you, um, there was a lot going on to the point that I just couldn't handle it anymore. And I just had to call it a night because I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is a lot. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, so I do have some video and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and try to like put that in and work that in so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let me just say, um, aside from actually meeting the acclaim today in the meet and greets, um, the karaoke was definitely one of the highlights for me. So yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, my voice is pretty much gone. Obviously you guys can tell because it was another fun awesome day on the Jericho cruise um so I'll be sure to check in and um let you guys know like what comes out of like I said you know tomorrow that we basically now have this extra day um on the boat so you guys take care and I will touch base with you guys later bye <laughs> Nick Gage, and I'm thinking, no fucking way. Right? Absolutely not. Uh, 
uh, his dog side of the ring just came out and I tried watching it. I couldn't even get through it. It was disgusting. I don't know what I said. He's fucking criminal. This guy's gonna fucking kill me, right? Um, but I knew it would create buzz. I, I couldn't anticipate the amount of buzz it would create. It, it changed my whole career. Like, I'm the deathmatch king. I had one fucking deathmatch, right? Um, but I'm like, yeah, I'll wear like all white, like white pants and white pads, a white shirt. I'll get like a couple of trickles of blood on there. I was fucking, my shirt was red. It was drenched. I was covered in fucking blood, but I loved it. I could understand. Hey, Dad. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, um, your stuff in AW was, uh, was careful. Amazing. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I, uh, I, didn't even, I didn't even know you didn't meet me. Or not meet me, but like. I, I was just going to say, I wanted to be so bad. That is not the hardcore title no, there. No, it's not. Okay. This is the one that Mr. Perfect is. Yes. No, the hammer. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, but even so, wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Our 185 champion in Bellator just defended his title last night. Johnny Evelyn. Oh, you're good now? Oh, yeah. See, I'm, I'm glad you got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love that, though. I love seeing that kind of stuff. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I know I was supposed to do something last night, just kind of let you guys know what I did, but uh, it was one of those nights. So, I'm just here, chilling, enjoying this view. Nice, beautiful view that I have right now because I have some pretty freaking amazing friends. Um, so yeah, it's the last day. And I just, I realized today that today's the last day before we're back on land. And I'm super like bummed about it because it went by really, really fast. Um, it's been seriously so much fun. Um, and I mean, ugh, it's kind of bittersweet. It's kind of bittersweet. So I'm just trying to like enjoy all of this as much as I can before we get back to reality tomorrow. Um, so I just wanted to pop in real quick. Tonight's it. This is the last night. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little sad. 
uh, I can't tell you guys what an absolute incredible time this was. Uh, I kind of like, I kind of don't want to talk about it because I'm going to get all emotional and stuff, man. Um, I have to tell you guys, like, you know, of course, everything, all, you know, all the activities, everything that happened on the Jericho cruise, um, like I said, awesome stuff, you know? Um, but I think the thing that's kind of like working me up a little bit is the fact that, you know, I'm not going to get to see any of my fellow ragers anymore and i have to tell you guys that to me was one of the highlights of this entire trip was you know for one getting to reunite with my friends you know that i hadn't seen and and so long um but not only that you know actually finally getting to meet you know some of the friends i have had that i've communicated you know online but just never you know got to meet in person so you know that was that was awesome and that was special um and not only that but just you know just new people that i got to meet and connect with and create these what i hope will be lifetime friendships it was it was all very special and i don't want to go too much because as you guys like i said i've said this before i am an emotional person and um you know that's one of the things i li i i like i love about wrestling um again you know the the passion um that comes with it you know um there i've t i've said this to you guys many times before there's nothing else like it there's nothing else like it and um i feel that way also about the people that i meet through wrestling as well so um today was today was fun uh today for me was actually my chill day um i i didn't do anything too crazy um i think i kind of overdid it yesterday um and i tweaked my knee um so like you know there's i mean uh just so you guys know in case you know you guys for whatever reason haven't been on a cruise before um you know there's elevators obviously to take you you know to different floors different you know sections but the thing is that there are times not all the times where you know the elevators are at capacity or there could be a line um and so you know you can elect to take the stairs so you know i decided to go ahead and do that but in doing so um like i said i think i must have stepped wrong or something like that because like i said my knee is just not feeling so great at all um but anywho but um so there's that um as far as like for today you know i was very happy to get to interact you know just with some fellow ragers and everything like that and you know um went to the casino you know spend some change here and there or or how i like to say it make my donations <laughs> to that um so i actually did go ahead and check out the um family feud um which that was fun um that they had out today and um let me see as far as oh there was this cool oh you guys so dan lambert boo dan lambert <laughs> just kidding so you know as mm, some of you may know he's a obviously um a huge wrestling fan and he's a big collector of wrestling memorabilia and he actually had on display various titles uh belts from different promotions and omg you guys i got to see some of the coolest past wwe wcw titles so be on the lookout so that way you guys can see you know what they had on display i thought that was so freaking cool and i literally almost came to tears because i was like like legit marking out because of like the piece of like history wrestling history i was looking at with some of them it was absolutely incredible to know that some of my some of my those those belts were some of some of my favorite wrestlers ever and and um you know lambert was really really cool he actually let you know us the you know fans get to like hold the title and and actually take pictures of the titles with with the titles if we wanted to so i thought that was pretty freaking awesome so um i have that to um to show you guys and share with you all and then um from there like i said went and um 
you know, I actually met up with um, um, some people that I met through in passing through another friend I had met and uh, was able to go ahead and have, um, you know, lunch with them. And cool thing about um, one of them is that he is um, a super Ruby Soho fan. And that was the one person that he hadn't gotten a chance to meet. So um, come to find out, you know, she was up at, you know, in the line trying to grab some food. So he took it upon himself, even though he hesitated to try to go up to the line to see if he could possibly at least, you know, exchange words with her. And I guess he had just missed her. But guess what, you guys, as he was over there, okay, you know, trying to see if he could talk to her, she ended up like, you know, leaving and she ended up coming and sitting at the table right by us. Okay. And actually the, 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 the chair where he was sitting is where they, the, the table was right there. And it all ended up working out because he ended up hap well, and mind you, he didn't even say anything. It was his friend who, you know, mustered up the courage to say, hey, you know, my friend's a, you know, really big fan, you know, is there any possible way? And Ruby being the awesome, kick-ass, hardcore <laughs> chick that she is, she was super cool about it. She was super cool about it and, um, you know, got to, you know, take that picture and stuff. So that really made his day and that legit for me, it actually, that made my heart smile because it was, because I could tell how much that meant to him um, to, to be able to have that. And it meant a lot to me just to be able to be there to witness that. So I, I thought that was awesome. And, and I've said this or whatever, that's just one of the many reasons why I love the Jericho Cruise. So that was nice. Um, so after that, we ended up um, doing the, um, basically the main show of the wrestling for the night. Um, so that was fun. Um, I finally got to do a sign for the show and of course it was for the acclaim. So I got to see them and everything like that and some other cool matches and everything. Um, that was great. Uh, so I have some clips. I didn't really get too many clips for that one because of where I was standing, uh, but I think I got a couple of stuff. So I'll, I'll show you guys some highlights of that. So, um, and to top off my night, which I'm actually calling it a, a little bit early because, you know, one, I'm beat and two, it's back to reality tomorrow. So I have to pack and get myself ready. Um, but they had a paranormal, um, um, you know, ghost story type theme, uh, a segment that they had on the boat and stuff. So I, I actually went to that. Um, and that was pretty freaking cool just to be able to hear some ghost stories and everything like that, you know, um, up in the, you know, uh, top of the boat and everything like that. And, uh, I enjoyed that. That was freaking amazing. Yeah, I, I'm all about paranormal stuff. I, I love I love that kind of stuff. So it was nice having something like that on the Jericho cruise that I could enjoy as well. So, um, but yeah, guys, um, I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know necessarily how this whole vlog thing is going to work or how I'm going to put this together, but I'm going to somehow try to piece everything that I did and mash it up into something and put it out there. Um, for everyone um, and then I'll probably do a separate video itself of my um, you know my experience as a whole and stuff once I get back home and and I get settled so so for now I must bid you guys adieu from the Jericho cruise and I will see you guys soon but until then you guys take care and remember guys wrestling is life bye